Well, hi, how are you? Good to see you again. Always a pleasure. Always. You guys cheer me up. Even when I'm in a non-cheerable mood. Charitable. Cheerable. I made a new word. The other day, some guy, he, he wrote in the Reddick forum, he, he called his knife, NAF, knife, K-N-A-F. I knew he was like, you know, one of these guys, you know, full of slang and everything, but I was like, I wrote K-N-I-F-E. See, the problem is, you know, you know, 50 years down the road, the dictionary is going to have to be rewritten because, you know, you guys, you know, want to think you're cool. It's a naff. It's a naff. <sighs> Writing you instead of Y-O-U, you know. I don't know. It just, it annoys me. I look for things that annoy me. I used to. Mail call never annoys me, except when it doesn't get to me. Then, yeah, it, it fucking annoys me. Hogue. Hogue. I had 60-some uh, dollars in credit with DLT. I says, huh. And they had this Hogue Auto. This is the A01. Yeah. Be nice to put it on here it is. A01 micro switch. It's a worn clip. And I was like, huh. It is $162. And with my 60 bucks I got the knife for a hundred bucks. I like that. Thank you, DLT. I wish BHQ would do that. BHQ. Yeah, Blade HQ, yeah. I almost got my BHQ and my M2V and my VH1 confused. I do that. I got up and checked the mail. So I saw the knife was there, and so I went and I fucking got it. And I came home and I laid back down. Because, I mean, well, I stopped by the new Family Dollar. It's not a new one, but they, they redid it, and now they're going to carry produce. I don't think they'll carry it because that's a lot. It, it'd probably get pretty heavy. But they're going to stock it. And then you can buy it, you know, like oranges and potatoes and fresh. Yeah, and that's going to be fucking cool. Yeah. So anyway, so I stopped by there and I looked at the changes, but they didn't have any produce out yet. And I wanted a bologna sandwich. And that's what I did this morning. Then I came home and I went back to fucking bed. And now I'm going to remove, now I'm going to change this camera around. And, uh, take a look at the knife. Bear with me while I disappear. Poof. Anyway, here we go. Buckle your seatbelts there, Pilgrim. Pilgrim. <laughs> That's Pilgrim and Partner mixed together. I made a new word. I added to my NAF collection. I'm in a sarcastic fucking mood, can you tell? It's Saturday, yay me. Every day is a Saturday for me. <sighs> anyway, okay. <clears throat> I started with Hogue, and I found this Decca. And this Decca is pretty sweet. And I was like, Hogue, you know, they make grips, gun grips, and gun stuff, and all sorts of nifty little thingies. So, I says, huh, this thing is dirty. I didn't really say that, but that's what I, I said. Now, this is the Hogue USA made Decca. It's a Warncliffe, okay? I like Warncliffe. This is the I-Switch, L-Switch design, CPM and 20 CV. My right nostril has been running, just running so fast. The other day I had a nosebleed. I've never had a nosebleed. And I was like, wow, this is weird. Been punched in the nose a few times, but never had a fucking, you know, just natural nosebleed. So this DECA, I says, cool. Yeah, 
I know, I'm bouncing all over the fucking place. And then after that, the one that Carl, uh, Carl, I can't remember his last name. He's the uh, Carl the Katana guy. Somebody, uh, he likes this hog. He really does. And I know why, because this hog <laughs> is a hog, and it has a harpoon shaped blade. And this motherfucker kicks. I'll hold it with two fingers and let's see what happens. You see that? You best hang on to it. And it feels good. It feels real good, Brian. And it, it's just, it, it feels great in the hand. I like this Hogue. It's an EXA05. It's got a safety switch. So, and the safety switch works if you don't, if the blade's closed. Good knife. Real good knife. I mean, it just, it's just, it's huge. But it's not too overly huge. So, what came in the mail? They had this Hogue A01 Automatic. Let me break out my notes so I don't look really stupid. Hogue A01 Automatic with a micro switch. I got this one in gray aluminum. Okay, please use care and caution. Let me get the side I've already opened. Alright. Yeah, I got stuff. What did I get? I got paper. I got paper. I got I got a Hogue sticker. I got a do not eat pack. I'll throw that out there and hopefully the cats don't eat it. I got Hogue knives and there's the deco right there. Yeah, it's decadent. 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 Oh, Hogue knives are extremely sharp. Use with caution. Maintain your life with a knife. Here, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I got a Hogue sticker. I need to make a sticker board, I guess. You know. Come in a little pouch. They all seem to come in a little pouch. Look at that. Gray aluminum. This is a pretty little spiffy knife. You know, you... You can... You can uh, just... I mean, it fits well in the hand. Closed, it's only 3.8 inches. Now, let me address this now. They do have a California legal one. And it looks like, on, on one end of it, it looks like this. And on, uh, yeah, not this, but this picture. And on one end of it, it looks like it, had, it almost has a fucking bottle opener. So anyway, close. This is 3.8 inches. The blade, and check this, this also has a safety switch. And the safety switch came on. So, you know, if you get the knife and you pull it out and you try to push the button and nothing happens, well, undo the safety switch, you fucking moron. Uh, you're not a moron. It's just I did the same thing. I says, why ain't this working? But figure it out. You're you're smart. You can do this. Okay. Has a nice little polished pocket clip. It's not deep carry. Not at all. Where's my shorts? I don't have them on. So what we're gonna do here is we'll just take this and we'll we'll make a yeah and we'll just do that. Okay. And we'll get it in the viewfinder. See, it's not deep carry, not at all. No, you got about a half inch sticking out. Yeah. Okay, I'm done with my shorts. I dropped my box. <sighs> okay, a nice little polish uh, clip, and it goes on either side. This is tip up, okay? And I guess, well, it's right hand only because, you know, Unless you did it like this, I'm having a hell of a time staying in the fucking viewfinder. Unless you did it like that, left-handed, you could do that and use your index finger. Yeah, that was pretty snappy, right? So yeah, you can you can improvise, okay? The inside of this pouch is a cool little 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 padded pillow lining thingy. And it also has a little a little loop on it that you could like you know, I don't know, hanging on the wall or something. All right, blade 2.75. It's a CPM tumbled 154. Well, a CPM 154 tumble. You can add that in there. But this thing is like, well, it's a little dark. It's not too awful shiny. But on the other hand, it's not too, too like tactical either. You know, it's not like tactical black. And again, look, 
look, look, jimping. I like jimping. Jimping is cool. Jimping in the right spot is cool. Speaking of spots, this one feels good here because it's contoured on both sides. No hot spots, not even in the clip. And there's jimping. Did I tell you I like jimping? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's on the aluminum. They did a really good job. It's nice and lined up. It's got a stop bar to stop the uh, blade from coming out. You're jimping right in here. I mean, it's just well done. Well done. Yes, nicely spaced, smooth. It's got a little swedge here. And it's got a worn cliff. Sharpening choil. It's got written on it, Elswitch, CPM 154, KMSO 11341. I guess that's the serial number. And over here we have Hogue USA, AO1 MS. I don't know what MS stands for. Multiple sclerosis? I don't know. Psoriasis? Mississippi. <laughs> I don't know. The world may never know what that means. It's got a little pointy thing on the end here, which, you know, is not really like a glass breaker, but it, it's nice and it's, uh, it's cool. You got more jimping down here for your other little finger. Yeah, because you got two little fingers, so there's your other little finger. In here, your spacer. Your spacer's pretty nifty. It's got holes, you know, little honeycomb type things in it you know, that are staggered. I'm not quite sure what that's made out of. It could be aluminum for all I know. Could be G10. Could be G5. Could be secret agent number 41. I have no idea. <sighs> Button lock. Button lock. So yeah, you know, you can close it with one hand. Yeah, and you can close big autos with one hand too. You just, you know, you just need to like get it in camera. But you can close an auto with one hand, a big auto. You just got to be fucking careful because if you miss your grip on your finger, this thing's going to come fucking springing back out. And bad things may happen. Bad things will happen. Trust me. 2.9 ounces. Yeah, I remember the weight this time. It's 2.9 ounces. This is a nifty little pocket knife. Nifty little pocket knife. If you want to carry two, you can carry this one and this one. And then, you know, you want to go like, uh, uh, you know, all out hog day. You can carry your DECA. Yeah, for, you know, just, you know, normal cutting where you don't want to scare the children and old ladies. And liberals and transsexuals and, uh, you know, those people. But yeah, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. The hardware is neat. It's got a nice little button right here, which looks like a bullseye. Yeah. Feels great. Feels really good. For you Warncliffe lovers, I mean, this is right up your alley. And it's, it's USA made, and it's only $160. And also, and check this out. If you're in California, you're not left out. They have another one for $152, and it has a 1.95 inch blade, and under two inches, and I think I talked about that a few minutes ago, but I can't remember what I did forever, anytime. But here's a, uh, here's a Kershaw, and it's a, 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 which one's this? I can't remember, but it's California legal, and so that gives you a general idea you know, if you if you picked up the, uh, I need an automatic zoom thingy or a little a little midget monkey to move my camera in and out. All right, but that gives you a general idea if you picked up the uh, uh, the other hog, the California legal one. You know just how big you're looking at. It's, it's going to be rather small, but that's okay. You're only gaining a three-quarter inch, but that three-quarter inch sure is piffy. <sighs> anyway, those are my thoughts on that. This thing's really fucking sweet. <clears throat> It'll go well with my automatic collection. I mean, it's, it's well done, well put together, USA made, and it, it's, it's, it's cool. 
they did good your pivot screw it doesn't have a screw on this side it doesn't I mean you know a, a slot but it's got one on this side which I don't know is probably a, a, an eight yeah this uh, um, lock bar safety lock bar has a screw on it also you got a screw there and you got a screw here and here a screw there a screw everywhere a screw screw we're all, hey, we're all getting laid <sighs> Yeah, pretty neat. Silky smooth. How sharp is it? I have no idea. Do I have any hair left? I may find some. There, I got some hair left. Hair lip. There. Come on, focus. I got hair left. Well, I did have hair left. Not anymore. Come on, monkey. Do your job. Okay. Looks like it could use a honing. Not a honing, a, a, a stropping. But it's pretty. It's pretty sharp. It did good. That's my thoughts on it. It's cool. It's a cool knife. Get one. Get two. Buy one for your friends. If you don't have any friends, buy one for your enemy and stick it in their fucking ribs. Poke them in the eye with it. Yes. Oh, and lockup's really tight. I always forget to say that. And it's centered. Lockup is centered. See it's centered? Yes. See? It's centered. If I can get it centered on the camera, then I can tell you how it's centered. Yeah. But that's a pretty neat little fidget knife. I mean, even for an automatic, you can sit here and do this all day. Uh, or all night or you know in my case mid-afternoon to early morning and you got to get up pretty early in the morning to get up early in the morning all right that's enough ramble rants and and and, and so on and so forth uh i gotta go i'm terribly fucking busy i'm so busy than uh, i'm busier than a one-armed paper hanger we'll see you Thanks for joining me. It's always a fucking pleasure.